What if I told you that a new type of electric motor has been developed, one that doesn't use a single magnet, doesn't need copper windings, and operates without generating huge amounts of heat? Besides, this new motor offers near 99% efficiency, according to the manufacturing company, compared to standard electric motors that typically have 84% efficiency. Sounds impossible, right? For over a century, magnets and coils have been at the heart of electric motors. But now, a company called C-Motive is building something radically different. Instead of relying on magnetic fields, these motors use static electricity, the same force that makes a balloon stick to a wall, to create motion. It's a technology that could make motors 50% lighter with low costs. It also requires very little current flow as the primary energy input is often through high voltage. And the most surprising part, almost nobody is talking about it. In this video, we're going to dive into how this electrostatic motor works, why it could change the entire motor industry, and what major challenges it still faces. Stick around, because what you're about to see might be the next big shift in electric machines. Before we start, Make sure to like this video and subscribe for more deep dives into the technology shaping our future. To understand why this new tech matters, let's first look at the old one. Nearly every electric motor today relies on electromagnetic principles, copper coils, iron cores, and permanent magnets to create rotational force. It's a proven technology, but it comes with big problems. Rare earth magnets are expensive, difficult to source, and their mining is harmful to the environment. Add to that the weight and complexity of motors that require cooling systems to handle the heat they generate. And while efficiency has improved over the years, we're now hitting a point of diminishing returns. So, is there a completely different way to spin a motor? Surprisingly, yes. And it involves something you probably learned about in grade school, static electricity. Think back to rubbing a balloon on your hair and watching it stick to a wall. That's electrostatic force. Electrostatic motors use the same principle, but on a much larger and more controlled scale. Instead of using magnetic fields, these motors use electric fields. Unlike electromagnetic motors, electrostatic motors can hold a position without continuous power. This is because they rely on electrostatic forces generated by voltage differences between electrodes and a rotor without needing current flow. Benjamin Franklin designed his electric wheel, an early electrostatic motor, in 1748. This device used the repulsion and attraction of static electricity to create rotational motion. It's often cited as one of the first examples of an electrostatic motor. Franklin's design involved a rotating wheel with metal thimbles attached to its spokes. When a charge-laden jar, a device for storing static electricity, was placed near the wheel, the thimbles would become charged by induction. The repulsion and attraction between the charged thimbles and the laden jar caused the wheel to rotate. C-Motive's design places electrodes on the rotor and stator. By applying very high voltages, these plates attract and repel, creating rotational motion. No magnets, no copper windings on the rotor, just lightweight plates and an insulating fluid that allows the system to operate at high voltages without arcing. The voltages involved are significant, often between 5 and 15 kilovolts, but the payoff is impressive. This approach makes motors potentially 50% lighter than their magnetic counterparts, and because they eliminate heavy windings and magnets, the overall design becomes simpler and potentially cheaper to build at scale. Here's where things get exciting. The numbers behind electrostatic motors are eye-opening. While a typical industrial motor might reach 84 to 90% efficiency, electrostatic designs can push that number up to an incredible 99%. That difference might sound small, but across a large factory running multiple motors all day, every day, the energy savings are massive. Just a 1% improvement in efficiency in all electric motors used in the United States could save enough electricity to power more than 8 million homes. 
Copper usage is another area where electrostatic motors shine. Because their design eliminates heavy windings on the rotor, they can use up to 90% less copper than traditional designs. That means lower costs and less reliance on a material that has been steadily rising in price due to global demand. And since they don't need permanent magnets at all, they remove the need for rare earth materials entirely, an enormous sustainability advantage and a potential game changer for supply chain security. Losses are dramatically lower too. In some tests, electrostatic motors have shown a three-fold reduction in energy losses compared to conventional electromagnetic motors. Less wasted energy means less heat, which translates to less wear and tear on components and potentially longer lifespans. In many industrial settings, higher efficiency also means reduced and unplanned downtime and lower maintenance costs, a hidden but valuable benefit. When you combine all of these factors, near maximum efficiency, drastic reductions in copper, complete removal of rare earth magnets, and reduced maintenance, you get a technology that's not just different, but potentially disruptive to the entire motor industry. Of course, no technology is perfect. Electrostatic motors face serious challenges. The first is voltage. These machines operate at extremely high voltages, in the kilovolt range, which introduces major safety concerns and requires advanced insulation and specialized fluids. This is not something you want to casually handle. Then there's torque density. At smaller scales, these motors simply can't match the torque output of a traditional electromagnetic motor. That means you won't see them in electric cars or bicycles anytime soon. They also require entirely new manufacturing methods and supply chains. This isn't a drop-in replacement for what we have now. It's a radical shift that will take years, if not decades, to mature. So, if they won't power your Tesla, where will electrostatic motors appear first? Most likely in large stationary industrial applications. Picture motors running pumps, small and large fans, or conveyors in factories where efficiency matters more than compact size. They could also play a role in renewable energy, particularly in wind turbines and hydropower systems, where slow, steady, and efficient rotation is key. These environments are perfect because they allow engineers to manage the high voltage requirements safely and leverage the design's unique strengths. Could electrostatic motors eventually replace magnetic motors entirely? Possibly, but it's going to take time. The technology needs to scale, manufacturing needs to adapt, and engineers must overcome the safety and voltage challenges. If those hurdles are cleared, we might one day see a world where magnets are no longer essential for electric motion. That would have huge implications for cost, sustainability, and supply chains. So, what do you think? Are electrostatic motors the real deal? or just another promising tech that never quite takes off? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. And if you want more deep dives into technologies that could change the future of energy and motion, make sure to like this video, subscribe, and share it with someone who loves engineering breakthroughs. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.